Pleasure Travel Lovers. So today is Saturday and it's our first weekend exploring in Kuala Lumpur. We finally left our apartment and we're ready to go. Uh, today we're actually going to Bati Caves, uh, KL City Centre and probably some nice rift of bar just to end this beautiful day here in Kuala Lumpur. So as we're backpackers, we don't want to choose the easy way to get to the Bati Caves. We're actually going there by public transport. First, it's very cheap and second, it's just an, a great experience to, to see the city and just to be like locals. So yeah, we're just waiting for the bus now. It runs every 20 minutes. I think first we have to go to one station, then from one station to KL Central Station, and then from that station, I think it should take us to Badger Caves. But uh, I guess we'll tell you how it is. Do you think it's one of those? Oh! And then from there, to okay. Just about to board the next bus. Let's go to KL Central. Ticket collector. Interesting, isn't it? It's a ticket control guy. Luckily, we got the ticket. <laughs> this is so serious, yeah. It's like two people on here now checking tickets. of Kuala Lumpur so we made it to KL Central that took us nearly an hour to get from that Putrajaya station to here so about an hour and a half altogether I'd about say an hour and a half altogether but it's all worth it because it's only about what two pounds for two people yeah it's insane so it, it's definitely an adventure the buses are super comfortable like uh, everything went so well uh, but now we think that because we're gonna be walking a lot and climbing a lot Maybe we should get some breakfast just before we yeah. do that. And there's loads of restaurants and places to eat here, so we're just gonna choose something and right. let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Which one's the spiciest? Everything. Really? <laughs> oh my oh, god. It's not that spicy, but yeah. Okay. okay. Give you a little kick, basically. Yeah, kick for the day. So we have roti chennai, mm, traditional okay. Malaysian breakfast. First time trying it, isn't it, Justina? Oh, how is it? Mm. Is it spicy, the sauce? Not too spicy. No. You've got that but with egg, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Eat it. Eat okay, it. I'm gonna eat it. Okay guys, so we're at KL Central and by the looks of it it's the blue line all the way up to Batu Caves. at Bati Caves. After three and a half hours of journey, we actually made it here. It's absolutely boiling. It's probably around 33 degrees right now. Uh, but uh, in terms of the dress though, guys, I just wanted to mention that you don't wear anything above basically your knees. So if you can, try board shorts and like tank tops. 
tank tops, so maybe come in a t-shirt like that and leggings or something like that. Uh, but yeah, the entrance to get here is actually free. Behind me, you can see this massive golden statue, which is actually Lord Murugan, and it's very important for Hinduism religion. Uh, next to it, there's about 272 steps, which we're actually gonna climb in a minute. Uh, all in all, it should take about three hours to explore the caves, go up the stairs. Uh, obviously, if you take pictures and uh, maybe film, maybe about four. Uh, but yeah, like I said, the attraction is actually free. Uh, so yeah, it should be a fun day exploring the caves. About to enter here and climb up 272 steps into the caves. It's absolutely boiling. I'm not really looking forward to it, but it's going to be okay. Um, this statue is actually 43 meters high. It is really impressive. Um, so yeah, really nice from the outside, but we are going inside. Let's see how the caves are. Okay. Start. Not to mention guys, it's not only 272 steps, it's also very steep steps. Yeah, and yeah. there's monkeys as well. And there's monkeys that are grabbing your stuff, so just better be careful, don't bring any food, because they're just gonna rip you off. <laughs> yeah, they are. Look, look at that one. Just waiting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just waiting, yeah. So, oh. Yeah. About halfway now. Where's Justina? I don't know where she is. It's really hot today, guys. Really hot. Nearly there. Yeah, it's there. It's not nearly there. There's gonna be more steps, isn't there? Uh, not that many. No? No. That's not 272. It is. It's not. Nearly. It's not as bad as what you That's think. very easy then. Okay, we're at the top now and we are at the entrance of the caves. Just a little tip guys, make sure to look after your head because especially when you go over this gate, there is monkeys literally peeing and pooing right on, you? on top of your head. So please be careful because there's actually a guy that we saw just went like this because <laughs> I think it got him. So yeah, just yeah. protect your head. <laughs> the monkeys literally rule this whole place. Rule this place. Look, it's that can, naughty monkey. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. In the bin, having a feast, having a buffet, <laughs> isn't it? Oh God. Oh God, it just looked at me, oh, let's go. Okay. the top guys it wasn't actually that bad at all no um, it's just really hot but it's hot when you just walk on flat ground to be honest um, but yeah when you get to the top there's a small temple here which is really really special for Hindus Right now we're going to leave these set of caves and go to the duck caves which is kind of out of these caves and just to the right so mm -hmm. it's all in the same area so let's just go and check that out. Okay so we're inside the duck cave and it looks like it's only tall only it's like 55 ringgit per adult and it looks like you go inside here I think that's why I call it Dark Cave because it's seriously dark but yeah I don't think we're going to go in because it's extra money and we saw the Batu Caves which is why we wanted to come here in the first place so we're going to leave that now but if anyone else is interested there's a pretty epic tour that you can do here inside the cave see some pretty weird weird insects and bats and it's quite kind of interesting isn't it? Yeah. In one word, how would you describe this attraction? Hot. <laughs> right guys, we're back down now and we are going to find some refuge in a nice air-conditioned train all the way back to Kuala Lumpur. We don't know whether that's a train and a bus or just the train, 
but uh, I think we'll grab something to eat now maybe head to a market or something and yeah we'll see you there recommended this place by the local guy that we spoke to today and yeah it's just huge market so we're just gonna see what's around <laughs> I'm gonna try some satay Ooh. What? nice nice yeah, that looks so good oh. what did you get Misha so I've got some satay chicken um, it's got like this amazing peanut sauce in here it's like basically chicken on a stick oh wow that's like been barbecued that. with peanut butter sauce Can and do you remember go? how is chicken in um, Malay I think it's ayam I am mm -hmm. I am and uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a go first try mm. yeah mm. good mm. that's so good Good. People love us trying food. Yeah, and actually this place, this chow kit market is great for trying loads of local dishes. We've seen durian, we've seen the koi sweets, um, as we've seen, we've seen ayam goreng, nasi lemak, all of it's here and it's really, really authentic. All the locals are eating. So we're going to have some lunch here, yeah? Yeah, or dinner. Dinner? Dinner or lunch? Dinner. <laughs> and keep coming back as well. Mm. I think um, for the first time I'm actually seeing Misha enjoying the food on the camera. Normally she's like, blah, blah. Yeah? Dragon fruit. Nice. It looks so tasty, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Yeah, we can. Oh my god, it's so delicious. Ooh. What are you eating? What is it? Salak. Salak? Salak. 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 Uh -huh. Indonesia. Oh, okay. Indonesian. Oh, nice. Do you want to try it? All right. You're like garlic. It's not garlic. <laughs> it's quite nice. Flavored cake. It's vanilla cake. There is other other flavors like corn, I guess matcha, that mean yeah. one. Let's try, yeah? Okay. Mm. Is it okay? Mm. Not what you expected? No, it's good. It's really it's really hot. So yeah. it's really hot right now. Describe the flavors to me. Does it taste of vanilla? Because that's what the uh, the flavor was. No, yeah. No? I love it. It's nice and warm. Mmm. Oh, we get five of those. A hundred. Mmm. One of them. And then one of the green. Oh, warm. She's giving you warm. Oh, yeah, nice. Please, please, please. 
Okay, okay guys, so we got more. We got more different different flavours. They're the light donuts, mm. I suppose. Would you say? Mmm. Is that one good? Mm. Can I finish this one? Yeah, alright. Nice. <laughs> we literally cannot stop eating and drinking, can we? What's that? I think by the time we go sit down for lunch, we're gonna be full. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Air Balang, isn't it? Yeah. Air Balang. I don't even know what that is. It's just a nice cold drink. It's it's kind of similar to bubble tea, I think. Yeah. It's kind of milky. You can, you can chew on those. Yeah. There's like fruit pieces in there. I asked what fruit, he just said fruit, so I don't know. What's left? <laughs> Interesting. Fake fruit. So oh, look, look. Sweet corn. There's sweet corn in there? There is sweet corn in there. Oh look. my god. That is awful. Well, fruit and veg drink then. We don't even know if that was like the proper market in a chow kit, but to be honest, it was really good. We ate so much. I'm actually full now. We were saying we were gonna have dinner around here. But um, yeah, we, we've literally ate everything that we could. And we've got loads of fruit for home so we can eat that during the week. And now we're off to Bukit Bintang. Um, we're just gonna walk around. We've actually been there before, last year. And we saw the Petronas Towers and did some more touristy things. But yeah, we're just gonna walk around this evening, see what's going on. And then maybe later, still try and grab some food. <laughs> still try and grab some food. And uh, yeah, today is absolutely fantastic. Our first full day out in Malaysia. It's going very well. Very local, very local. Very local. Uh, this one here, 659. Yeah, Thank you. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers an amazing day. <laughs> yeah, we're currently around the Bukit Bintang area. We came a little bit out of the main center and we found this kind of street full of food stores. We can sit outside. Um, we've got a beer, which is kind of hard to find in Malaysia because obviously it's a very Muslim country here and there's a huge tax on alcohol but you can still find some places that serve alcohol with dinner and I've ordered like a Penang noodley thing <laughs> that's, that's my interpretation of it I've actually put the name down once I receive it but yeah it looks really good um, mainly Chinese food around here so Justina's got um, actually Thai food as well because Justina's got Pad Thai which looks really good but, um, there's loads of barbecue fried stuff yeah loads of fried stuff again loads of satay food on the sticks food on sticks um, durian which we still need to try uh, there's just a lot going on um, a bit more touristy than Chow Kit Market Chow Kit Market was very uh, local um, obviously Bukit Bintang is very popular with tourists um, but yeah it's really nice it's good to sit outside and enjoy people walking by and um, yeah soon it's gonna get dark so we're gonna enjoy this beer and rest a bit because we've done a lot today. It's been a very good day but we have walked a lot. The heavens have opened. Oh my goodness. Saved by the umbrella, huh? No rooftop bar for us today. No. Right 
now. He's got a menu on his head. He's getting wet. Oh my god, this is crazy. By the looks of it, guys, we're not going home. We're staying here and drinking more beer. There's no way to leave. There's actually, look, listen. Wait, wait for it. Can you hear it? I'm sure you can. It's so loud. Such a storm. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to be here for a while. So Cheers. Cheers. Maybe we'll end this video here. But yeah guys, because we won't go anywhere else, just go home after this, if it stops raining. We're just gonna end the vlog here. We're just gonna carry on it, enjoying our beer. For you guys, we'll have to say goodbye. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you like, share and subscribe. And as always, cheers to freedom! Woo!